Great Lakes is a cause near and dear to many throughout Michigan and to Northern Michigan teens. They are going to great lengths all to help this cause. 7 and 4's Brett Cast is live now at Elk Rapids High School in the gym where morning workouts are underway for their <coughs> major physical challenge coming up tomorrow. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, Tom, Melissa. Yeah, just to give you a little background on what's going on behind me here, I contacted Mr. Morris, who's the boys' science teacher here at the middle school, and I asked him if he wouldn't mind waking up with the guys like a couple hours early to be here for our live shot. And he responded, oh, 6 a.m., oh, we'll be at the gym by then. So if that doesn't give you an indication of these boys, these 14-year-olds' workout and their work ethic, then this story you're about to see will. It takes away the carbon dioxide that we talked about. Inside this Elk Rapids 8th grade science class. Friday, what are we doing? What are we doing Friday? Lessons are being taught. We're playing trees, we're playing plants. But outside of the classroom, that's where lessons are being learned. Schools, I don't understand schools. Caden Patterson and Gordy LaFontaine are students at Cherryland Middle School in Elk Rapids and are also close friends. Best friends since first grade for sure. So when it was time to start their eighth grade community project, they knew they'd be partners, but they didn't know what they would be doing. So first of all, we were like, well, we want to protect the environment. And we know Mr. Morris had been doing that, so we kind of we talked to him and they came up to me and like, hey, can we can we uh, team up with Stand Up for Great Lakes? Let's do a beach cleanup or something. I was like, let's think bigger. Quinn Morris is the boys science teacher and football coach at the middle school. And he's also one of the founders of the organization Stand Up for Great Lakes, which has a pretty lofty goal. So two summers ago, we crossed Lake Michigan on paddle boards and we realized that we still had a ton of work to do. So we made it a nonprofit charity and we're going to cross all of the Great Lakes. So what did the boys come up with? And then it came up, well, what if we paddleboard across the Mackinac Straits? You heard that right, a five mile trek over icy cold water to raise money and awareness for the Great Lakes. And Mr. Morris will be right there with them. So it's a five mile crossing, which doesn't seem like a lot on paper, but when you talk about the Straits uh, currents and the waves that can get up there and the high winds, you have to be a pretty skilled paddler. So the boys have been training all winter long, preparing for a daring yet rewarding experience. Well, it's awesome. You know, paddle boarding is a great thing, and then protecting the Great Lakes is even better, so it should, it's awesome. Now, since coming up with this idea in the fall, they've been coming here and doing morning workouts three days a week, and so far they've raised close to $3,000. Reporting in Antrim County, Brett Cast, 7 and 4 News.